A significant global business has acquired North Norfolk Digital, one of Norwich's neighborhood radio stations. The company plans to lay off some employees and rebrand the station under the name Shape. DJ Alan Partridge has no opinion about the changes, but his co-worker Pat Farrell is worried about losing his job and convinces Alan to enter the board meeting of the radio station's new owners secretly in order to stop them from firing Pat. Alan betrays Pat by writing, simply dump Pat, on the board in his office after learning at the meeting that the conglomerate strategy is for either Pat or himself to quit. Pat is soon dismissed, the new owners hold a party that night, and when Alan leaves the party to speak with Lynn, his assistant, Pat storms into the station brandishing a shotgun and kidnaps the whole staff. Pat fires at Alan as soon as he enters the station, but he misses. In order to report the incident, Alan steals a car and leaves the station. He then drives to the closest police station. After establishing a command center in a local school, the police decide to employ Alan as a mediator and send him back to the station to speak with Pat. When Pat and Alan have a difficult chat, Pat finally admits that he has been going to great lengths to obtain his job back. Pat launches right into hosting a radio show with Alan, Simon, and himself. Many times, Alan imagines himself courageously ending the siege and freeing the hostages, but he has the guts to take Pat's gun. As soon as the first national news teams arrive, Lynn makes the decision to completely modify her appearance in order to appear in front of the cameras and do interviews. Alan is enthralled by the hero Lynn characterizes him as while he watches the interview on television. Later, Alan kisses Angela, a co-worker he has been crushing on since the morning, Alan locks the station's front door by accident, and as he attempts to escape through the bathroom window, his underpants and pants come undone. Since Alan's mission was unsuccessful, the police send a policeman dressed as a pizza delivery guy to the station. Pat wants Alan to deliver the pizza into the station after spotting Alan among the onlookers. One of the packages has a taser, which he finds once inside. The captives start fighting, and the police enter the premises as a result. The tour bus from the station serves as Pat, Alan, and their friend Jordy Michaels' means of escape, while co-hosting the show on the bus, Alan and Pat appear to have re-established their faith in one another. But then Pat catches a picture of the office where the board of the new company owners is meeting. A chalkboard with the writing, something fired T-O-P-A-T, is also included in the image. Pat discovers that he lost his job as a result of Alan when he contrasts the handwriting on the board with his own. In order to avoid Pat, Alan hides in the bus's restroom. He then uses the toilet to access the waste tank, climbs inside, and takes the tank outside. In Cromer Pier, which is 40 kilometers from Norwich, Alan runs into Pat. The police show up to the dock right away. Alan diverts Pat's attention by approaching the pier's edge. Pat tells Alan that he lost his wife and that this is why he is so miserable. Pat is holding Alan at gunpoint when he abruptly shifts the shotgun's muzzle from Alan to himself and tries to fire himself, but he is unable to get his finger on the trigger. Pat then hands him the shotgun while Alan offers to assist him. Alan throws the shotgun aside after getting it, but it hits him in the leg as he drops. Alan receives a shoulder injury from a police sniper at the same instant. Running up to Alan, Lynn. Although she is certain Alan is dead, the emergency doctor who arrives claims he will survive, there is a quick summary of the subsequent events towards the end of the movie. Along with his partner Simon, who has had a minor concussion, Alan returns to work at North Norfolk Digital. Pat phones the radio from prison once a week. In the course of their relationship, Alan and Angela take her two kids on a trip. They travel in a Range Rover while towing a boat, which symbolizes the realization of all of Alan's goals, he dreamed of owning a boat and driving a Range Rover. The lettering for Alpha Papa is also visible on the boat.